Hey guys, welcome back to Nia's Nest. Today I am continuing the series that I've been working on this summer and we are gonna be talking about some pretty heavy things. This weekend, last year, was Vlogger Fair. And for those of you who watch our daily vlog channel, you'll know that some kind of crazy things were happening during Vlogger Fair of last year. One of them was that our family was kicked out of Vlogger Fair. I'm not gonna go into detail about that. It doesn't need any further explanation or talking about. But also, one thing that happened last weekend was that um, something from my husband's past was brought publicly to the media. Betrayal of any kind, whether it's little white lies or someone living a completely different life that we don't know about, no matter what the case is, it causes a deep wound that's very difficult to heal. Um, and those wounds, when they're reopened, when they're dug deep into, it hurts, it hurts a lot. You know, there's a reason why we use the metaphor wounds when we're talking about our personal lives. If you were to scrape yourself and then dig into that scrape and get deeper and deeper into it, that would hurt. But then imagine it closing up and leaving a scar and then you dig right back down into that same one, you would bleed again. You would have pain all over again. And so last summer when my husband's social media account involving cheating on your spouse was brought to light, it caused a world of chaos and pain for us. So what I want to talk about today is not the details of our betrayal story, but just how we worked through our betrayal. Um, last summer, a lot of people, when they found out the details of my husband's social media account, were questioning, why would I stay married to him? Why would I forgive him? I'm a weak person. I'm just a doormat for Sam to walk on. Da 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 da. And FYI, those things hurt. When you're trying to move on from something, it doesn't matter if you're a stranger on YouTube, it doesn't matter if you're a troll just writing hateful comments, it hurts. I'm already, you know, working through things on my own and I'm already over here dealing with it in reality. And I have these other people just like throwing out other emotions onto me and, um, you know, just expecting me to feel a certain way. It's not very easy to work through those things. In fact, it's really, really confusing. So the whole point of my series is to kind of like lead up to where I'm at today and kind of just share with you guys the healing that I've been able to achieve up to this point. It's been a complete year since that happened and like most situations with betrayal, when old wounds are dug up, so are old secrets and old feelings and old emotions and that did happen for me and Sam. It was a rough time. It definitely hit me sideways when that news came out. I had just had the miscarriage and you know I just really was not prepared or ready to deal with such a heavy and deep topic and so publicly with everybody just breathing down my neck. So, you know, it's kind of nerve-wracking. We're going to this convention. We've only met some of these people in passing at other conventions, or some of them we've never even met before. And something like Vlogger Fair is incredibly intimate. You're in close quarters and small spaces, and all the vloggers are kept in this small room with all of our kids, and, you know, it's kind of chaotic. That's stressful in itself. That's, you know, imagine if you got a new job and you're going to it for the first time. You're, you know, you've got nerves. You know, you're gonna be meeting new people, trying to find your spot. Where do you fit in? Who do you sit with at lunch? You know, those are kind of the thoughts that cross our minds when we get a new job. And, you know, so for us, we were just starting to go full time and we were in this circle of other people who some were going full time, some were working towards being full time vloggers. And, you know, it was just kind of a different scene for us and it was nerve wracking. Then, literally, like 20 minutes of us being at Vlogger Fair, Sam's news was like blasted everywhere. I could tell that people around us were seeing it because it was all over Twitter. I could feel like people looking at us. Some people were thoughtful and took Sam outside and had a good talk with him. So, we decided to kind of lay low. We didn't end up going to a lot of the um, parties or meetups or different things like that. Uh, we just decided to go to the main day of Vlogger Fair, and that ended up really bad. We got kicked out. Sam was just too stressed. We really shouldn't have been at Vlogger Fair during a time like this when, you know, we had an idea that this news was going to be leaked. We weren't 100% sure and it was just really poor judgment on our part to still take the trip and go to Vlogger Fair and be around these people in an already stressful situation. It was a very difficult time for our family, for our marriage. We were in another state. We weren't even in our home. We were staying with people who were friends but 
virtually strangers, you know, we're getting to know them as we're on this trip. It was just really heavy and really difficult. And so I'll be the first to say that I, at that point, was just done with vlogging. I didn't want anything to do with it anymore. I didn't want my children to be able to look up on the internet and find horrible things about their dad or even things that I had said or done. I didn't want anything I did from that point on to affect my daughter when she looked at me as far as how I was handling like the whole betrayal situation. And so we decided to take some time off. Sam assumed it would be like a week or so, but it was a lot longer than that. It ended up being like a month or two, I think. But in my mind, I was done. And you know, and I told Sam, like, this is over. I'm not doing this with you anymore. I don't care if we ever pick up a camera again. So we kind of lived like that for a little while. And obviously we're still vlogging. I'm still making videos because the Lord really brought to light what this was all about and why this was happening. So that is kind of like where I'm at today. So last year um, was kind of like, the world crashing down on me and I was ready to be done, throw the towel in, and many areas of life and you know I prayerfully worked through all of that but where I'm at today considering all of that that happened in one weekend a year ago um, we are still daily vlogging and I'm doing videos on my channel we have a new little baby and um, things are good we're still working towards healing in our marriage and for those of you who are married or going to be married soon you're engaged maybe you're seriously dating one thing that I've learned through this process and over the last year is that regardless of the problems that Sam and I have faced like let's say none of that betrayal stuff ever happened. We would still be in a state where we are constantly working to better ourselves and to better our marriage. It's never gonna be perfect. We're never gonna achieve perfection here on earth, whether in a marriage or a friendship or between family members. It's just not gonna happen. We're not perfect people. We're humans and we make mistakes, big ones. We all do. One thing that I slowly began to realize as time passed after you know the betrayal was brought to light and all of that publicly was that this is happening for a reason. I don't know what the reason is, but I know that it's happening for a reason. And if you guys watched my last video in this series, I kind of explained some things that happened at a baby shower that I was at. Light bulbs began to go off in my head. Now at this point last year, there were no light bulbs going off in my head. In fact, I was like praying and I was like, I don't know what you were thinking, telling me that me and Sam had something big to do in the ministry, but I heard you wrong. We're not doing anything in the ministry. We're not vlogging anymore. And I don't even know if I like him anymore. You know, even though I had forgiven him for this account that he had, it just, I'm a woman. I'm emotional. I kind of react off my emotions, especially in times where I'm like feeling a lot of pressure. And so, yeah, it was just kind of not a fun time for us. But some of you out there might be going through something similar right now. You might be sitting there watching this feeling confused, like, I'm in a situation where I've been betrayed and I don't know what step to take next. I don't know, do I stay, do I go, do I trust, do I not trust? Like you could just be sitting there just as confused as I was on this day last year. There is hope if you put your faith in Jesus. If I did not have faith in Jesus and a community of believers around me, I don't know where I would be today. But I definitely know that I would not be here using my sad story, my heartbreak, to uplift other people. I firmly believe that as sucky as it all was, it sucks to be betrayed by someone that you love. No matter who they are, no matter how they betrayed you, it really just sucks, like all over. But instead of questioning, why me? Why is this happening to me? Don't get me wrong, I went through that phase too. I definitely went through a phase where I questioned, why is this happening to me? I'm a nice person, I love people, I like to serve people, I go to church, I'm raising my kids for the Lord. Why is this happening? But then I started to think, why not me? I am a believer. I do like to encourage other people. I desire to uplift other women. And I feel like the Lord has called me into ministry to help others who might be going through similar situations. And so I decided to just work hard, diligently, every day to mend my heart, to mend my mind, and to be able to share a video like this with you guys. Because I'm sure there are many people facing similar situations some better, some worse. There really is a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm not just saying that, and I know it's so cliche, and there was a time where I felt like that light was permanently out. If I'm being honest with you guys, there are still some of those days where I get completely overwhelmed and I think, I'm just ready to throw the towel in. We can't live like that. We can't live feeling sorry for ourselves, or dwelling on the past, or dwelling on sins of other people. That is just a horrible way to live. Here I am today, a year later, uh, like I said, still, working towards achieving that healing from everything that we went through last year and just really diligently and prayerfully working on our marriage every day. I just want to give you guys that encouragement that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and if you have faith that what you're going through is happening for a reason, 
you're gonna come out a million times stronger. Since all of this has happened, I kinda have a new motto for me as a woman and for other women who struggle with really anything. And that is, God chose you. Whatever situation that you're sitting in right now, whether it be amazing or terrible or horrible or heartbreaking, He chose you because He saw that you are strong enough to withstand what you're dealing with. The Lord handpicked you and your strength and your abilities to withstand whatever trial you're going through right now. But He didn't just pick you to go through it so you could just go through it and be done with it or throw in the towel and give up. He chose you so that you would lean on Him and pass it along to others. And that is why I'm here right now. This video might not even be making that much sense. I could be all over the place, but it's making sense in my heart and in my mind because I know that I'm doing what I've been called to do. And so I just believe that somebody out there watching is going to be touched by this and will choose to not give up, will choose to lean on the Lord and follow His direction and follow His guidance. It might look differently for you than it looked for me. I appreciate you guys bearing with me and sticking it out through these videos where I kind of ramble and talk about my feelings because, you know, we don't always like to sit and listen to people just talk about their emotions all the time. But yeah, it's been a year since all of that happened. It's been a year since I felt like the world was crumbling down on me and I'm here. And I smile on my face. I have joy in my heart. My family is complete. They're all inside napping. All the kids. Sam's working and I could couldn't be more grateful that he chose our family to go through um, this hardship. <laughs> Sorry guys, I was feeling really proud of myself there for a minute because I didn't cry and here come the waterworks, but you know, I just feel really grateful that the Lord saw um, me as a strong woman because if he didn't, I could just be living in a complacent life with lies surrounding me, a husband who didn't um, make the choice to tell me the truth or to make an effort to better himself for our family. As awful as it can be in the moment and all these questions are flooding your head, I'm still thankful. I think I'm going to stop there for this video. There are some other cool things that have happened um, that I want to share with you as they come about. Until then, I hope this encourages you and I hope you pass it along to someone else when you're ready and your heart feels ready to share. I have a Facebook page, Nia's Nest, and it was made with the intention to be a community for all of you women out there watching my videos, any of you struggling with anything that women struggle with. Maybe you had a bad breakup. Maybe you had a bad day as a stay-at-home mom. Maybe you had to go to work today and leave your tiny little newborn at home with pumped breast milk and you're in the bathroom pumping your milk on your 15-minute lunch break. I don't know what the case may be, but maybe you're having a hard time and you need some community. Hop on over to Nia's Nest Facebook, share your story, um, find someone that you can connect with. I'm thankful to be doing life with all of you guys and I just can't wait to see where this takes us. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys back next week for another series video here on Nia's Nest. Bye guys!